a very very good evening good afternoon wherever you're watching us from thank you so much for tuning in to y254 since the celebrations of madaraka day uh, began this morning we have been bringing you live coverage of madaraka celebrations all the way from meru uh, kinoru stadium and on your screens right now is president uhuru kenyatta leaving the stadium uh it's a quite a wonderful reception right there as you can see it has been awesome and we will be discussing what the president has said uh with my co-host here uh ramo guko i'm not alone we'll be uh, uh discussing what the president has uh, said good afternoon ram uh, good afternoon hillary it's a very wonderful uh celebration right yeah we can see that uh the madaraka day speeches have been made by our president that is Uhuru Kenyatta and the many people came hosting yes. uh, to uh, attending yes. the event rather we had uh, the deputy president from South Africa yes. and uh, it was a very insightful event held at Meru and uh, there is one thing that was standing out True. throughout the whole event which is that was unity, unity. promoting the sense of nationality yeah. because we are one Kenya, one tribe, we are one nation. Yes, and yes. Uh, today, celebrating Madaraka Day, obviously, of, of course, the country celebrates the day that we attained international self-rule. That is Our a day like this in 1963. Yeah, we we were allowed to rule ourselves and speaking of Kinoru Stadium I mean to understand this uh, stadium has a capacity of 60 uh, 60 uh, it can't get to 60,000 like uh, Kasarani but yeah, today uh -huh. mm. uh, it was full 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 you full. can see the crowd there uh, and I'm sure the if there are people who are very very happy today are mm -hmm. uh, the people of meru having the president around them with other guests from other nations like you just said uh the deputy president of uh, south africa uh right okay. there is deputy mm -hmm. william ruto I, we can see he's uh, waving to people and meru actually we turned up in numbers and yes. not just people from Meru, from meru county uh, even from outside I, I, I like what you've just said yes uh, we turned out in numbers yeah uh, because you're part of it we are and, part and of this it. is the unity the president has been speaking of uh -huh. and it has uh it has uh been through the handshake that you've been seeing and just yesterday was now hugs uh we, are we now can call it the hug <laughs> shake <laughs> uh, I, I i i don't remember them uh shaking the hug <laughs> <laughs> but obviously it was wonderful and uh, we can see this in fact uh uh former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Dinga mm -hmm. was there and uh, he spoke of uh, how we fought for this uh, freedom and self rule. Actually, today we are marking the 55 years. 55th? Yeah, 55th year uh, <laughs> since we regained our self rule and it yeah. has been awesome. If I could remember or if I could quote the, the words of our the founding father of our nation Mze Jomo Kenyatta he mm -hmm. said that uh, he will be fighting uh, illiteracy that is ignorance yeah, uh, yeah. as in kwa Kiswahili tunasema ujinga uh, <laughs> kwa, kwa lugha uh, mbaye inaweza saidia watu uh, yes 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 <laughs> majority were back home <laughs> and then uh, it was all about uh, fighting diseases uh -huh. and and poverty as well and these over years now uh, this has been happening and we have seen that with our president Uhuru Kenyatta he has been, been very adamant with the big four agenda mm -hmm. uh, that he wants to have a healthy nation he want to have you see a healthy nation is a working nation and yeah, he, exactly. he needs people to work when they are healthy and if they are healthy that mm -hmm. means we will be having more uh, production in our industries wherever area that you are in you'll be more productive and the president again he has been insisting uh, on uh, food security because you can't work if you are angry i love uh, what he said about uh, the uh, issue of manufacturers uh, he was promoting the business sector yes. he ensured that he also had to touch on the aspect of youth unemployment and uh, one thing that he also mentioned was that the heads of procurement yes. were going to be vetted and i th I, th I think kenya is heading in the right direction yes. and uh, the conclusion will be in the ma uh, the month of june june, june, yes. june. Yeah. if uh, i would say that 
the president is looking at the best interests of Kenyans. It's only that now the factor is uh, time will tell time if will tell. what the speech he made today yeah. was actually going to be implemented. Speaking of vetting uh, the procurement officers, yeah. uh, these are professionals. And uh, I want to remember something that happened uh, with the DPP office. The, the office of uh, director of public prosecution mm -hmm. is now being vetted because it is said that maybe somehow people working with the DPP are somehow corrupt. Now, a procurement officer uh, might be also corrupt in a way. Yeah. But also the people will be vetting them uh, unless, unless, and just unless, <laughs> <laughs> unless they are as clean as snow. But you see, w w it puts to debate whether yes. actually there is anyone in this country holding any public office who can be as white yes. as snow. And uh, we would like to put Especially the Especially when it comes on. to politics. Yeah, when it comes to politics. S someone said that politics is actually a dirty game. And uh, we cannot actually attest whether it is true or false, yes. but most likely it, it seems to be true. Yeah, the president has talked about corruption and we have been seeing people being grilled uh, specifically uh, in the recent days we've mm -hmm. seen the nys scandal has revived and uh -huh. then uh, we have people who are being grilled right now and we are waiting for the ruling on 6th of june and actually we're hoping they'll be jailed uh, actually uh, jail as a as a, <laughs> as a kenyan <laughs> as an angry kenyan yeah. who is tired of this corruption because uh -huh. actually it is the youth fund that is being uh exactly defrauded and uh, most of the development that is going on drained for nothing because people are stealing money. So uh, on matters corruption, the president has once again, uh, in the presence of thousands of Kenyans, he has made a promise again that he will All fight right. that. And just yesterday, mm -hmm. he also said the same thing, yeah. that if you're caught, it's you, not your family. It's just mm -hmm. you. It's, it's just, just you. It's not your friend. It's not your office. So because we corruption people, actually starts with you. Of course. Yeah, it, end, it starts and ends with you. If you want to fight corruption, it is us. Yes. It is you as an, as, as an individual to fight against yes. it. Uh, just yesterday, I happened to see a tweet from someone who was saying, corruption will end when uh, you will stop giving bribe to an officer for you not to kupele kwandani. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, it will end when uh, you will stop giving something for you to be favored or given something. Uh, say a job because you're having so many people and maybe that's why they're looting you came through corruption You will live by corruption and you want to live by corruption But I'm hoping they are living with corruption now will be the end of this mm -hmm. tyranny of corruption day in day out Looting public money and for us to actually engage our viewers wherever you're tuned in from at home 22162 is the SMS line start with the word why news 22162 is the SMS line that is the number it is on our Facebook handle and uh, f uh, Twitter handles are on at y254 channel what do you think about the essence the issue of corruption is it possible to end corruption as the president has mentioned that they are going to ensure that the end corruption starting from the public offices. Do you think that is possible? Do you agree with such kind of a sentiment? Talk to us and tell us what you think. 22162 is the number start with Y News. Yes, and speaking still of matters corruption, mm -hmm. most of these uh, heads of offices, they are vetted in uh, through the parliament. Now, can, can, can we say that maybe somehow, somehow, uh, <laughs> they asked very simple questions by our members of parliament, and that these are the members of parliament who come with laws? The, the, the debate actually comes in whether the vetting process into office mm -hmm. is actually something that is deep. Is it detailed, or do they skip one, two, or th three things. Because once you vet someone into office, mm -hmm. then the essence of whether they are corrupt, whether they are not corrupt, mm -hmm. is actually looked into. Yes. Because if I remember the vetting of the, the when we're looking for a judge uh, a, a, a few months ago, they were vetted, they were asked questions. Their uh, banking was uh, questionable they, in terms of how they, they use taxpayers' money. Yes. And it puts the question whether it is possible mm -hmm. for us to have someone being vetted into office and them mm -hmm. to remain clean. Yeah. Also, it's also possible for someone to be vetted when they are clean, yes. but as they take time in being office, yes. they get their hands dirty. Yeah, now, uh, this matters corruption because it has happened. Now, 
uh, as a youth, I feel like have not been done justice yeah. because the money that has been looted would have helped somewhere talk of bursaries for the people who are not able to uh -huh. fund themselves in schools mm -hmm. talk of uh, infrastructure look at our roads okay indeed the government uh, or the president has been doing so much to make sure that uh, we are having good infrastructures in our country yeah. but still we have these small individuals look at the youth funds Mm. Uh, the youths have been denied a chance to have a few coins for them to put together and add to something for them to maybe have a business that will uh, keep them, uh, maybe support their family, support themselves and build the nation. Uh, as, a youth, uh, um, as a youth, how do you feel corruption has done you injustice this far? It has done everyone injustice. And as Kenyans, it is one thing to say, do, do you know why youths normally go up in just roars when it comes to things to do with corruption and when it comes to scandals. Yes. It is because youths are tired of unemployment. Mm -hmm. Youths are tired of the status of their livelihood. They are tired of the cost of living having to go up each and every year. Mm -hmm. And it is a cry because the cost of living goes up because of corruption. Yes. And uh, I had someone who said, and this was uh, actually uh, an address made somewhere, I think it was uh, in the United States, there was uh, um, a forum for heads of states. And there is someone who said this, uh, uh, that the reason why Africa cannot develop, yes. the reason why Africa cannot go and move into the next level is because Africa keeps on getting aid from outside yes. and you see the reason why we get aid is because we think that we want the aid mm -hmm. the help from outside countries to ha to 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 be beneficial to our country for example as Kenya sure. but the problem is he said that if we want the cost of living to reduce yes. if you want the way people live the lifestyle, the cost of buying things in the supermarkets to reduce, we have to reduce something to do with taxes. But that is just a debate that was there yeah. at that forum, that reducing taxes helps in ensuring that the cost of livelihood yeah. increases. Yes. But the issue of taxpayers' money being mishandled is also a reason why we cannot pay our debt as Africa. That is why we cannot move on to the next level as Africa. We will always be called a developing continent. True, true. And um, you just mentioned about unemployment. I, and I just feel like uh, His Excellency, the governor of Meru, Greater uh, mm -hmm. Murungi, somehow he has come up with a solution for unemployment. Yeah, just yeah, in yeah. his county, yeah, exactly. he has begun, I will call it a county youth <laughs> service. <laughs> or got Meru the service. NYS for, a <laughs> for Meru, Because now they will be having their youth service and um, he's recru recruiting 1,000. And exactly. 1,000 uh, youths in a county means a whole that is lot. A lot. Because those are 1,000 people mm -hmm. who will not steal who will not stay idle, people who will be working. They will be uh, like a working nation in such a county. And I'm wondering if the whole of Kenya, 47 counties, we have county youth service in our backyards. Uh -huh. This would mean these people will be working. And but it, it whatever they will be working, it's not for nothing. As in, they will go to production-wise. Mm -hmm. They will be pro uh, producing uh, talk of farm, talk of industries, talk of uh, entrepreneurship. These are the people who will be working. And I think that's a good idea. What do you think? The, the governor from Meru County needs to be given an upload. Yes. A standing ovation. Because that initiative, I believe, will help the youths of, Neri, of, of Meru. It sure will. Uh, remembering one thing that Meru, those grounds, the grounds of Meru, once, years back, were battlegrounds. That is where blood was shed. And we celebrate Madaraka Day in honor of those people who fought for, for this friend. country, yes. that we can have self-rule. People are arrested, and it is the same, same Meru County that an, initi an, an initiative the, for uh, development sector, has been put. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, th that yes. is very nice. Yeah, talk to us through our SMS line, double two one six two, starting with the word Y News. Again, 22162 is the SMS line to use. Remember to start with the word Y News. You can also choose, choose to tweet our Twitter handle is the Y254 channel, hashtag Y254 updates. We're still in the celebrations of Madaraka 
Madaraka Day. And, and uh, <laughs> in the spirit actually of, of unit of Madaraka Day. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I was hoping I would see a handshake with exactly. uh, Munya and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Governor Kiraito. But Kiraito uh, said something. Mm -hmm. he, he thanked the president for uh, bringing them together. Uh, uh, we hoped to see that live like it happened yesterday with uh, a very spe <laughs> good spirit and <laughs> I, I don't know if it was that's just the th theatrics i don't want to think that way you don't because think so you see like an incident for yesterday mm -hmm. it was an ambush <laughs> and you see when someone <laughs> was calls ambushed? on you of course the deputy president was ambushed and he was like actually he said this uh i was hoping the president you will do this on all our behalf <laughs> but it came to be personal so this unity i'm thinking it will be helping us so much now i want to uh point out something else the president talked about today uh we are celebrating madaraka day and here is madaraka express right for one year now uh mm -hmm. The journey to Mombasa has been shorter and it, easier. It has been shortened <laughs> by the uh, Standard Gauge Railway. Actually, yes. now we are having a duration of four hours traveling from Maximum Nairobi. Five. He, 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 for, uh, for, um, oh, okay, it happened. It happened, but now uh, logistically and because of uh, technical issues, we are doing five. It ah, has been doing five. I believe it is four. Because from Nairobi to Mombasa, let Consider in the course. Let me ask you. Yeah. Madaraka Express is one year old. Yeah. You've not rode on it. Moving on to another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you should know uh, uh, Madaraka Express has employees. Yeah. I, okay, I happened to be there someday and uh, I was served by this wonderful <laughs> youth. Wonderful uh, let, youth me, let, me, let me not say who uh, in terms of gender, uh, mm. but they were great and those were good youths. Those mm -hmm. were a number of youths that uh, have been employed there. Right. And I want to imagine uh, one year, mm -hmm. uh, Mombasa to Nairobi. We're expecting another one from Nairobi to Kisumu. Kisumu. And this will mean another talk of thousands of youths who will be employed. Yeah. And this means a lot to our country. Mm. So we need more projects that uh, will we'll see our youths getting employed. Even as we look forward to other county uh, governments uh, coming up with uh, right. the uh, county youth service, uh, we're expecting the projects, uh, national talk of national talk of uh, county, because things have been devolved. We want, we want projects that uh, will see youths have been employed and uh, I, something has been being pushed by the president instead of an example of Nairobi County government uh, paying uh, a few individuals who have trucks to collect liters in our county uh, we should be having uh, youths being employed uh, to clear the trashes and clean our uh, counties and talking cities. about um, uh, uh, youth being employed there is the big four agenda and uh, with that, we would like to ask the question, do you think that the youths can be engaged? Are the youths engaged in the Big Four agenda that is laid by our president, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta? What is your take? Moving on, there's something called free primary education. I thank our former president, Mm -hmm. His Excellency Honorable Mwai Kibaki. Right. Through him, I was able to go to school. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold and I, know I represent uh, a million of you, Kenyans. You, you are part who, of <laughs> President Kibaki's free primary education program. Free primary program. education, I tell you. And it was awesome. Books, pens, for free. I enjoyed, I schooled without pressure. And here I am today. <laughs> <laughs> over 9 million students, over 9 million children have been given an opportunity to learn. Over 9 million. And I think that is an opportunity for growth. Of course it is. But of course, having into con putting into consideration that the more educated our children are in the country of Kenya, the more educated our youths are, yes. the more developed and the more initiatives we are likely to take, hoping that our youths don't travel out of the country to sell our knowledge. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> and, and again, if they go, they will uh, uh, bring us 
revenue. Revenue. But yeah. still, we need these people in our country. Mm -hmm. And still, on the on the same matters, education. I I'm glad things are changing. I went under 844, and the system is changing. Yeah. Uh, to mean if you're good in acting, mm -hmm. you can go act. Yeah. If you're good in music, do music. People abroad are get paying are getting paid because of their talents and the skills that they have. Mm, it, 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 has come, it has come because of the the, the the recent change in the education system that yes, promotes and it's so talent. Awesome. It's so awesome. Uh, you find a kid is not good in books, but when it comes to uh, technical work, yeah, they do amazing. Mm -hmm. You go to fields this person can do amazing and we, we would like to put the question out there to the audience with our sms line 22162 remember it is still on starting the word why news would you say that the free primary education is promoting development within the country and actually it is not only for primary education even mm -hmm. secondary even secondary yeah fee okay it will not be like free 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 but at least there's few coins you'll be paying for your upkeep in school in the desk you need to see the government course, cannot yeah. provide like they got everything people who cry government every, say, actually yeah. this should not be a reason for our parents and even the youths of us who are parents uh to be uh lazy yeah th saying the government will do something actually the question we should be asking ourselves is what can we do for a government or for our nation rather than what should the government be doing for us. Talking about what we should do for our nation, it's all about Madaraka Day, the spirit of building togetherness, the spirit of building oneness. Yes. The president promoted something called togetherness and one uh, being one blood. And uh, there is something that I noted in his speech yeah. that he mentioned the aspect of avoiding politics and building the nation. Yes. Our nation has been bleeding uh, since last year. August 8th and uh, we have seen how we hated each other because of politics this is my person why yeah. do uh -huh. want this uh, but that's now a thing of the past and now we've seen uh, through politics uh, how difference uh, comes to comes in and mm -hmm. divide us and now the president uh, as he was trying to put it is like uh, let not our differences put us together. In fact, they should uh, bring us together and work. Our, our as differences don't put us aside. Yes. Uh, should not separate as as uh, as Kenyans. Yeah, because, because we, we have differences, of course. Yeah, of uh, course. You want this person because of A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. I want the other person because of E, F. And we thank God for the handshake and the hug that we, we have will been continue receiving. doing that. And I'm hoping these uh, hugs and uh, handshakes and handshakes will cascade <laughs> to other platforms in the society to help us. Right. Uh, build our nation mm -hmm. uh, like someone mentioned um, about uh yeah governor for meru mm -hmm. he said that uh, the release of funds is taking t uh long for them to get to <coughs> the offices or to where they have been set to so the, there's a lot of bureaucracy in terms of releasing the finances and i'm just hoping that uh, we will reduce these things this these offices uh the funds have to go through G, who and this who, process who and who this and so has to sign yeah, by the yeah. time the funds get to uh the project it's one done. year two years and in the middle something went and so of course we're hoping that uh, uh, as the president said in his speech and i quote he said that we will end corruption be uh, just as we eliminated colonialism that is and a very it's powerful very much statement. possible. Look at yeah. us now. 55 mm -hmm. years, we are able to do our own things. Yeah. No one asks. If, if they come, in fact, we tell them, uh, uh, this is our nation. And, we, our and, and the Kenyans are proud of their culture. We are proud of our heritage. Yes. I was looking at the entertainment segment when people were singing and, 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 ducks, uh, yeah, and, and dancing. The Meru cultural <laughs> dance. <laughs> it was also awesome. <laughs> you see, when... Uh, I remember those old days when we were in school and we used to go to Bomas and uh, listening to those music. Even yeah. to uh, our schools, we used to sing. And these are some of the things that bring us together. Mm -hmm. We are over 45 tribes in our country. Yeah. Over 45. Yeah. Our, our, our heritage is in our diversity. And this should help us more to unite. Because honestly, myself, I feel good when I hear someone speak their mother tongue. I love it. Wow, yeah, exactly. It's, it's so sweet to hear something different from what you know. And mm -hmm. then you're like, uh, so what, what were you saying? And it's very interesting to hear youths, actually. Youths within the country, you'll find that 
one person Kanoki, Kuyu, Meru, uh, Luo, Luya. And it is very interesting to find someone who can speak different dialects at the same time. Actually, actually I think you're speaking of me. <laughs> but that's awesome. How many, how, how many languages if, do you speak? I can speak five local languages. Wow. Fluently. That's a challenge to me. Without a problem. That's a challenge Without to a me. Problem. If I go to Kikuyu, I speak in Kikuyu. No one will tell. I'm not a Kyuk. I go to Kamba, I speak Kamba. Wow. I go to Meru, I speak Meru. No wonder you've been confusing <laughs> me. But we thank God for you. Actually, no one ev would even tell from where do I come from because yeah. I come from Kenya. Only that I come from a small place, Kenya. I, I, I love that high five. And on this that. is, high this five is on that. how we should live. This is how you sh we should live. Yeah. Uh, don't be, be my friend because of where I come from. Uh, As don't help me. Don't mm -hmm. help me because of where I come from. Help me because you're building the nation Kenya. If it's a business, come mm -hmm. buy for me, not because you know me. Uh, if it's a job, don't give me because I come from your community. Don't give me a job because I come from your same family give me a job because i have what it takes to do that job because and you qualify one, for that yeah uh, and this will eliminate so many uh problems that we have been experiencing because even with corruption it starts with uh i know you see when you get here yeah, uh, yeah. these things will be happening yeah. so just just a small thing so we will be avoiding so many problems that have been derailing projects in our country mm -hmm. uh, things that have been derailing uh, so much progress in this nation and there's one thing that the government is actually promoting the use of the youth fund yes. apart from the youth fund uh, we should also as youths promote one another bring to togetherness when it comes to you having the ability to consult the, those who are above you to ensure that you get the advice, the necessary uh, uh, appliances when it comes to tools and techniques, the necessary, uh, even, even when it comes to uh, academic qualifications. Yes. Youths are given the platform yes. to promote their own talent, yes. to promote their own uh, intellectual standings. Yes. And there's one thing that I love about today's celebration, that is uh, uh, Madaraka Day, yes. is that youths Stand up, and they are the majority at the Meru Stadium. Great, great. Even our discussion has been great. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much back home also for keeping it Y254 since uh, the beginning of the celebrations of Madaraka Day. Uh -huh. This day, it's 55 years. We are very proud and we will be uh, finishing our conversation here and maybe if you could tell youths out there one or two words, Ram. Oh, one or two. That youths, we are one Kenya, one tribe, one blood. There is one thing that we have to understand, that Kenya is you and me. True. We don't need any political individual to promote, to develop this country. It is you and me. And in the words of our president, he said that it starts from you when you are at home. If you want to build your country, if you want to build your home, if you want to build your business, it starts from you. And also, of course, promoting unity because even when you promote your brother, when you promote your sister at home, it promotes unity as a country. And it will help us avoid things to do with ethni ethnicity. True, but true. I don't know what you say about it. That is just my opinion. That is my advice. That as youths are following our flag, black, red, and green, we are one country, one Kenya. But participate in us. 2162 is the line. Start with Y News. I'm signing out. My name is Ram Aguko. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, at Y254, and also at Ram Aguko. Hillary. <laughs> Wonderful words there, especially from what the flag of our nation yeah. means. Once again, thank you so much for keeping it Y254. I will remind you, youths, if you want to build this nation, uh -huh. stop corruption. Ato kishikuwa na kanjo, enda yondani, utajo kiwa ndani. Stop giving that small thing. Una because it is, <laughs> <laughs> it is this small thing that uh, it goes even to the offices. Don't give a bribe for that job. Right. Don't. Just don't. You can do much more with what you have. Your skills will make you dine with kings. That the scripture uh, says that. Your skills will make you dine with kings. That you can kuza peremende hapa inje. People will buy and you will prosper. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you so much. Happy Madaraka Day back home. My name is Dereva Hillary. Good afternoon.
Y254. Imagine.